Have you ever wondered how you can make things like this and like this? These are just very simple animations what you can use inside all of your videos. And normally most people would think that you have to make the animation from scratch every single time, but you can actually just use templates for the whole thing. Inside Premiere Pro, these are called motion graphics templates and they are found in the essential graphics section with inside Premiere Pro. Now there are a lot of these available on the internet and you can download them and use them as much as you want, but it's kind of nice to know how they are made because then in the future, if you ever have to make something like this, or if you want to use your own branding, you can go and make these and then put them inside Premiere Pro. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that today. So load up Premiere Pro and After Effects and let's get started. So what we're going to do is make just a basic template of what we want to have animated inside After Effects. Once we've done that, then we're gonna turn it into an essential graphic and then import that into Premiere Pro. So load up After Effects and you want to create a new composition. What you're wanting to do is make the aspect ratio of the composition the same as well the footage what you're gonna be working with. So for this, we're working in 4K, so we're gonna make it 4K. Now if at times you just use 1080p footage, then I would still recommend making a 4K composition because then you can scale the animation down when you get it into Premiere Pro and just future proofs this animation and any other animations that you do in the future. So we're going to make a new composition to begin with. So we're just going to call this lower third one. Now, if you're making a few of these, you don't need to have different projects for each one. You just need a different composition for each one, but make sure you clearly label them and you'll see why in a moment. Now, what you want to do is make sure you leave the background black when you export it. But for the sake of just editing, what I actually do is make a solid color in the background of a color which I'm never actually gonna have in any of my work, and that is lime green. It looks hideous, but you will see why I don't leave it black in just a second. So for this animation and this tutorial, we're just gonna make a really simple lower third. So you're gonna have like your first name and last name and then your job title your position or whatever you do with your life so the first thing you want to do is actually design that to how you want it to look at the end of the animation so we're going to get a text layer to begin with i'm just going to tap on here and we're just going to put first name last name and what you want to do is right align it so come to the paragraph section and just press left align and the reason for that is if you change any of the text when you get into post you don't need to move things around it's always going to be left aligned then what we're going to do is just choose the text that we want and you can change the font and the font size and change it to exactly how you want it to be. Now you can change this when you get into Premiere, but it's nice to have something which is already preset. So if you know what you're going to be using, let's do that right now. So we're going to come up to character and we're just going to change it to Avenir because that's what I use because I'm pretty boring like that. And then below that, we're just going to put job title or position. And then we're going to make that a little bit thicker. So we'll go for black and then make that a little bit smaller so nothing too fancy we're going to keep it really basic for this this tutorial but if you want to see more let me know and i'm happy to do this kind of stuff for you so that's how i want it to look when it gets to like the most important part of the animation so now we're going to work backwards to make it animate in and then we're going to make it animate out so i'm going to blast through this fairly quickly so i'm just going to get the position make a keyframe drag that across slightly and then drag the first and last name off to the left hand side and I use the coordinates to move things so everything stays perfectly in line because then you're not affecting both the x and y axis if you were to drag it so now if I play that back that animates in like that and a bit later on after let's say four seconds something like that I want to copy that keyframe and then the same thing and that one so it animates back off so now if I play it back it disappears, it animates off exactly how I want. So what we're gonna do is have the position bit drop down from where it says first name, last name. So we're gonna to go to the second keyframe, so where the first name, last name section has finished animating. So we're gonna to go to the position thing. We should probably just rename that, shouldn't we? Let's just call it job title because it's gonna get complicated. Um, make a keyframe for the position property of it and then drag that along slightly and then we're gonna make it so it animates down. So we're gonna move this up to there. So then when we play it back, at this moment in time, job title is visible before you actually want it to be. So we're gonna move that layer across, like trim it across slightly so you don't see it until you want it to start animating in. But then we wanna hide it behind something and that's what I'm gonna show you right now. And it's a really easy thing to do, um, but it's quite advanced. A lot of people I come across has never actually really used this. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a shape layer and we're gonna cover that part of the screen. So we're gonna get rid of the stroke and then add a fill and we can change it to whatever we want. So let's say red, it doesn't matter. And then we're gonna trim that layer so it starts at the same point as where the job tiles layer does. Me speaking and doing on-screen tutorials is hard work. 
<laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> right. Um, the next step is to go to the toggle switches modes. What you want to do is come to the track map column and go to the layer that you wish to hide. So that's the job title layer. We're going to click on none and then we're going to change it to alpha inverted matte shape layer one. So what that does is hides both layers, but as one animates from behind the other, the one at the back will be shown. So if I play this, you'll see that it just drops down perfectly. You can obviously add more things to that and make it as extravagant as you want, but like I said, we're gonna keep this really simple. So that's your animation complete. Now this is where you start making the actual essential graphic Mogart preset. So what you want to do is come up to the essential graphics section inside After Effects. Now if you don't have that, come to Window and it will be in Essential Graphics. Just click that and it'll pop up. You want to choose the composition you're working with, so lower third one, and that's why I said label it clearly. And then we need to choose the things which we want to alter when we get inside Premiere. So the things what we want to change is the source text of these layers. So if you come into the properties of any of them text layers and then find source text, you can drag that straight in to there and then you can do the same thing with the other one like so. Come up to edit properties and make sure you tick all of these as this will allow you to edit the font, the weight and the size of it once we get inside Premiere. The other thing we may want to change is the color of the font. Now there may be another way to do this, but the easiest way I found is to actually leave it as white or black and then come up to the effects and presets tab and then find tint and then drag that into both of the, uh, the layers which we're going to be using. Then you want to come into the effects and then tint and find the map white to option and then drag that into the essential graphics window. You can drag these around to any order that you want and you can also rename them. So we can only change this to color and color again. And what you can do is test all of this. So you can actually go in here and change it to let's say red and you will see that it changes it to red. You can also go and change the job title to let's say content creator and it will show you that it changes it to content creator so it, you can test it before we actually export it. The last two things we need to do is change the name of the motion graphics template so just come up to the top where it says untitled and we're going to change that to lower third one and I always change it to the same thing as what the composition is called because then you can always come back and edit it later on down the line. And finally get rid of the green background. Now the reason I use the green is because everything will stand out and sometimes you want to use black or white as I said you can only use black and white to be able to create something and then you change it when you get inside Premiere Pro. And trust me, it's impossible to edit something black on top of something which is black. You will never see it. The next step is to export motion graphics template. Hit save because you need to save the project and then choose where you want that to be saved and then hit OK. So once that's done, come back into Premiere Pro, load up your essential graphics the same way as you did with After Effects, come down to the bottom and import that motion graphics template into Premiere Pro. You can use the search bar to find it, so we'll just type in lower third one. And then what we can do is just drag that straight onto the timeline inside your project. As I said before, we've made a motion graphics template as being 4K, but I'm not working in a 4K timeline at this moment in time. So you can right click that layer and just come to scale to frame size. And that will snap it to whatever frame size you're working with. Then you just wanna make sure you choose the edit function and then you can change this to whatever you want and add your own text in. So we're gonna say Danny Bly and we could say YouTuber, I guess. <laughs> I guess that's what I do. And then what you can do is just play that from the very beginning and you will see that it animates in and then eventually animates back out. And there we go, it's a few steps to get it done, but it's totally worthwhile. And once you know how to do the basics of it and get into using After Effects, the world is your oyster and you can be as creative as you want. If you enjoyed this and you wanna see more After Effects tutorials, then just let me know down in the comment section below, or you can watch this video right here. As always, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then hit the like button as it really helps me to show this video to more people who could find it very useful. If you wanna see more content like this, then hit the subscribe button. And if you do, I will see you right there. Thanks for watching.